What did you notice was the first symptom when that first came on that made you find out you had Ehlers-Danlos? Uh, dislocations of my hips and other joints. So I had symptoms in all of my joints, but the first one was my hip. My hip dislocated and I went to the emergency room and one of the emergency room doctors was like, um, hmm, let me see your joints. Tested them and um, looked at some different things. I had some tests done and I have type three Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. So, um, how frequent were joints dislocating? In 2016, when I got diagnosed, I became more ill as the year went on, and my joints got so bad at the point where I was <laughs> I wasn't able to eat solid food for a while. I was just eating bone broth and popsicles and different things, and um, it was because my jaw was popping out every time I opened it and shut it. So I picked up a popsicle and it was so heavy that my wrist <laughs> dislocated, completely came out of socket. And I was like, oh my goodness, mom, get the brace. So I had to wear braces on my wrists and elbows. And um, I used KT tape on my shoulder blades and my ribs would pop out. Um, my hips, my knees, my ankles, toes, fingers. And wear certain it. shoes on your feet as well? I had to wear certain shoes. I had to wear bionics, like supportive shoes to help push your ankles out that way. I, uh, my ankles wouldn't dislocate when I walked. Um, so just any movement. I mean, you would pick something up, you try to get up from a chair, get up from bed, and it was almost impossible without yeah. joint dislocations. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd wake up with a different joint out than I went to bed with. Out. And um, I was really thoughtful about the way I'd move because if I moved wrong, something would come out. So I was just like, kind of afraid to move, but um, um, after 2016, my joints, I kind of learned to live with it a little bit more and strengthened up some muscles and they weren't coming out all the time, but there was like chronic pain. So it always felt like they were grinding or they're like coming out or just not quite right or just sublexed wrong. Um, but since I've been coming to you in 2019, I have, I, my, all of my joint problems have massively reduced, but within this last protocol, I I haven't had any joint problems. Any joint problems at all? No, like my my joints will move a little bit if I push on them, but they aren't just falling it's out. It's not just involuntarily coming out just by lifting something off of a counter yeah. or getting dressed or getting up from a chair. Right, and it's not painful. And it's not painful. And so you might force your shoulder joint to come out of alignment. Yeah. You could do that by a certain stretching method that you'll yeah. do. Uh, and you also said that you went for a three-day trip in the Appalachian Mountains in Georgia. Yeah. High altitude. Yes, I was in high altitude. It was 30 degrees. I was sleeping on a sleeping bag in an air mat in a tent. And I hiked around like 70 miles, went 11 hours one day. And um, no joint dislocation. No joint dislocation. Zero. Zero. None. And like over the all the days. And I had enough energy to do it um, all three days. It was... It was a lot of fun and I just like, I enjoyed myself and I didn't, I wasn't even worried about my joints, honestly. I didn't bring any braces with me, haven't had to use any. I have wore just regular hiking shoes and didn't have any problems. So you weren't worried about the joints because you already knew before you went on the trip that like, hey, my joints are not really popping out like they used to. Yeah, I've it's been all... able to like trust my body <laughs> instead of being so scared of it. Mm -hmm. All right, that's awesome. And so you felt finally enjoying life again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and before then, how often were the joints? It was every day, multiple times a day, these joints would pop out. And it, was, it, was, it got to a point where you couldn't even really do much besides having the KT tape on and have braces and certain shoes to try to keep the joints in alignment. But it was any time of the day, any movement, they would pop yeah. out. Yeah, especially movements like that. So 2016, it was really, really bad. 2017, it was really bad, but I had it under control. And then as time went on, Only under control now, because you were able to move in certain move ways. Move in certain ways, but yeah. it wasn't under control because things were fixed. It was just right. that you knew how to how to brace yourself, so to speak, mm -hmm. so things wouldn't happen yeah. or as bad. Yeah, I still had to wear my special shoes mm -hmm. and um, my my bionic arms and stuff, but mm -hmm. um, my, my joints have strengthened up through the years, but they would just pop out. And like my hips are so bad, were so bad. And I was having my dad like help me put them back into place several times a day. Um, but now we're... Yeah, but now I, I haven't had um, my my hips pop out in, or the, or the I can't remember Fingers, last time. knees, toes. Yeah, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> yeah, so have you had, how, how, I mean, the last time that a joint popped out of place was how long ago, about? 
a couple months. A couple months ago. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, my I, my spine. I, I crack my spine like most people, but I my joints. I don't. That's in alignment yeah, now. Yeah, it feels strong. Feels mm -hmm. good. It feels strong. Yeah, so I've been able to work out. I've been able to exercise work out, and get stronger. Work. You got a job. You're able to lift things. I know people put a try on gowns and the mm -hmm. bridal store that you're working. In, you're doing good. Mm -hmm. And do you feel with your EDS? Do you feel that if you're you know, 50% better, nearly 90% better. What, what I'd would say you? like 90, 90% better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 